Hi everybody, how are you today? I'm uh, just sort of hanging out here, so I thought I'd do a video. Get it? Hanging out here? I'm in the art gallery? <laughs> hanging on the wall? <laughs> you see what I did there? Well, I thought it was funny. Anyway, how are y'all doing? Uh, I haven't made a video for a week or so, so I thought I'd uh, just pop on in here and tell you what's going on in my life. Today was Shopping Tuesday. Oh, and I must tell you that this is my second attempt at this video. And I went, I think, seven or eight minutes last time. And then when I went to edit it in my editing software, there was no sound. Because in this UCAM program, you have to actually, every time, click that you want to record it with audio. And I don't always remember to do that. So I rambled on and on. And all you saw was my lips moving. Maybe some of you would like that better anyways, just the lips moving and no sound. <laughs> anyway, we went to the city, did our grocery shopping. It was a beautiful day because it's been so cold outside for the last number of weeks. And now today it was uh, minus five, I think, for the high Celsius. And tomorrow I think it's even supposed to go up to zero, which is 32 Fahrenheit. So that is going to be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I took the dog for a walk today, as like I always do when we got home from the city. And he has these four little socks, and one came off, and usually he's, his feet hurt him when he's on the cold snow. So I had to backtrack to find the sock because I didn't notice it was off, and I found it. And then I decided I'm not going to go home because Grandma Susan's the one that puts the socks on. I just can't get them on. I'm just useless. Can't do it. So I decided, no, you can just walk with three socks and one off and see what happens. So we went quite a ways, actually, all the way up Main Street, which is quite a long block. And he did fine, stop peeing and doing his thing, you know what I mean? And then we got around the corner by the local cafe where I have coffee. And that doesn't have a sidewalk that's not got snow on it. So we walk on the road and we never got, I bet you, even a quarter of a block. And he stops and is holding up his little foot. I'm cold. My foot is cold. Anyway, so I had to pick him up, carry him. I was going to carry him all the way home, but we got to the alley, which is about a block and a half further to go. And I said, no, you're too heavy. I'm putting you down. So I put him down and I said, you can just walk up the alley, which is about three quarters of a block, a long block. And uh, you can just walk up there. Well, he got distracted because there were some dogs up the alley in their yards that were barking at him and whining. One was crying. I want to see hello to Casey. That guy's name is Bentley. He's a nice dog. Then the next house down, a couple of houses down, actually, there's uh, Max, Sparky, Chainsaw, and they have another new dog, which I don't even know the name of because they haven't had him that long, so I haven't met that dog yet. They're all out there barking at him, so that distracted him. And so we got home without him actually having any pain in his foot that he noticed. Yeah, so it goes to show you that it's all up here. <laughs> So, tomorrow I'm going for a lab test first thing in the morning. I have to be at the hospital by 8.30. That's in the next town, Indian Head. And um, just for uh, sugar. It's one of those fasting tests. So, I have these. This is my favorite food. Cheetos. Crunchies. And I'm going to have some of those. Just a little bowl. Don't get excited. See? That's all. But... I'm going to have a little bowl of those, and then after 8 or 8.30, I can't have anything more to eat or drink except for water. And then the worst of it all is I can't have my morning coffee. That's going to be hard. But luckily, my appointment's at 8.30, and if I get out on time and I have a couple of more things to do in Indian Head, go to the drugstore, go to the print shop and pick up the church bulletins, um, I should be home by 9.30 at the latest, hopefully even earlier, and get my coffee. i got to have my coffee. Yeah. Do any of you people have uh, coffee machines, you know, the one cup things? What do you have? I actually have a Keurig and a Tassimo. And like Bibles, I keep switching Bible translations around. Well, I keep switching my coffee makers around too. And um, so I was using the Keurig. Now I'm back to the Tassimo. And then I go back to the Keurig. Well, now I'm on the Tassimo. If you've had either of those, or maybe both, which one do you like better? Have you ever been able to compare them? Let me know in the comments below. Um, the Tassimo is pretty good. The Keurig is good too, but their pods are a lot more expensive than Tassimo. 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 Sorry, Tassimo. <laughs> so let me know what you uh, use, if anything. Maybe you just use 
drink coffee the same old fashioned way with the filters or maybe you don't drink coffee at all but if you do let me know what you use and I think that's probably about it I like I say I talked seven minutes last time so I'll, I'll try to shorten it's already five minutes already over five minutes so I'll close now and hopefully be back in a week or so with the more updates of what's going on in my life our grandson's birthday is coming up in a what a week or so I think and uh, yeah I don't know the exact date I'm a grandpa what well, that's grandma's job to know that so uh, he'll be 14 years old I can't believe it I can remember when he was born but here I go rambling on again I'll uh, talk about that more after his birthday's over I'll tell you what we got him. I can't tell you, not in case he watches this. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me here in the art gallery. And uh, I'll talk to you real soon. Bye for now.